Hey everybody, welcome back to Smell Good Fragrance Reviews. Someone asked me a question the other day, they said, hey, what's your most complimented fragrance? So I'm going to do another list, 10 of my most complimented fragrances, the ones that have got me the most compliment over the years. A lot of them, oddly enough, have been released over the last, you know, within the last decade. Um, I've been into fragrances for a long time. I've only really been collecting them for, I don't know, maybe 10 years, 9 years, something like that. So I haven't been collecting for all too long. So we're going to go kind of back. There's a bunch of them that I don't have exact numbers for, but I know which one is my number one most complimented. And we will get to that. So uh, let's just start right off. Terry Mugler, A-Man. Y'all know the color of that star, what we got going on here, right? Yep, you know what it is. Give you a second to think on that, right? Yeah, that's the boozy beast. This thing is magic. Um, they reformulated it at least once. And, um, yeah, so they've... Reformed at least once that I know of. Uh, this bottle right here is older. <laughs> you know, as you can tell, it's yeah, it's not faring so well. But it's really hard to wear this in warmer weather. It's definitely cold weather. I know I'll wear some stuff in the summertime. This one right here, it's strong. You put it on, you're loud. Women love it. You know, it, you just it's sweet. It's boozy. You got a little bit of that, like cigar tobacco in there, and it's just really, 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 really good. It's so good. Yeah, but that's uh, it's called Pure Malt by Terry Mugrea. All right, you can get that for about fifty bucks for a hundred mil, and compliments. The opening's great. When it dries down, it's fantastic. It just sticks with that. It's just delicious, really. I mean, the the, the notes that are in there. In the A-Man line, as far as I'm concerned, there's only a couple of them you need to buy. Pure Havan, Pure uh, Coffee, and Pure Malt. Other than that, the rest of the line can go fuck off. My opinion, of course. Next in line would be Amwaj. Reflection Man. Yeah, that one. We just talked about this in a recent video, right? Springtime. I wear this spring, summer, fall. Even in the dead of winter because it just projects like a beast. It's high quality. It's mass appealing for a niche fragrance. It is crazy mass appealing. It is a bit pricey. But you put it on. And when I see you get good compliments, this isn't just from the ladies either. Like, you get guys, you can tell they're sucking up their pride by coming and asking what you're wearing because they want to get a bottle of it for themselves so they can smell like you because they see the reaction you're getting around them, right? That's one of those fragrances. You know, you get... It's just fresh with a little bit of spicy. It, it's... You know, watch the videos. I'm not going to sit here tell you about all these fragrances. I'm just here to show you the goddamn list. All right. Fletch your man. I'm Wash. Next in line. Arod, right there, Parfums de Mali. This is a fantastic tobacco scent, a little vanilla. I'm going to spray it just because it freaking smells so damn good. Oh, love it. Compliments like crazy from this. Just tons and tons of compliments throughout the years. It just, it's been ridiculous. Ridiculous. Couple dumb reaches here. Imagine that. Um, although it does not have staying power, Dolce and Cabana, the one. Bam, 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 bam. Again, some reason people really like tobacco. You get a little bit of tobacco and stuff, a little bit of vanilla, some resins, some spice. People just love it. A little bit of a boozy accord. Only problem is, is unlike everything else that I'm going to mention. This one will go flat on you real quick. Sort of like the difference between buying Coca-Cola 
and buying one just the can says cola. You're gonna be fizzy 25, 30 minutes later with your Coca-Cola, but 15 minutes later, that shit gonna be flat on the one that says just cola, right? That's the only problem I have with this. I wish at some point, Dolce & Gabbana, I love their smells, I love their scents, they do great scents. But it's like they almost on purpose go out to make sure this shit don't last. <laughs> like four hours is long enough to smell like our shit. Give us your money. I really wish I'd make something that was just get these smells, but get them like performance based. You know, that'd be awesome. All right. So next in line. Next in line is sausage. By Johnny Depp, otherwise known as Savage by Dior. Dior killed it on this one. I, I hate to say it. This got it so people were into fragrances a little bit more than what they was before. It kind of reinvigorated the fragrance community. It it doubled overnight. People were like, oh wow, this is finally something that you can talk about and like. I mean, it's mass appealing. It's definitely a blue, fresh type fragrance. The sprayer they put on it was like new to the game. The magnetic top that this, no matter where you drop it, it spins itself into place. The EDT, the cheap one, the cheap one lasts you a long ass time. Yeah, pretty much everybody loves it. You're not gonna offend anybody. I have people go out of their way to ask me what I'm wearing when I'm wearing it, which is weird because, well, I live in Maine, so not a lot of people wear it, oddly enough. But uh, anywhere else in the country, I probably wouldn't get asked as much. But yeah, sausage. Sausage. All right. Now we're coming down to the skinny of it. This one here, I'm sure when I do this video a couple years later, this will be probably my number one. People love Red Tobacco by Mancera. Love it. It is. Not only does it smell great, it's a beast. You get this on your clothes and stuff, you can do your laundry. I don't use high-tech shit. I got a front-loading machine, I use Tide Pods, but you'll still smell this when your clothes come out. Put it in the dryer with a dryer sheet, it still smells like this when it comes out. This is nuclear. It is probably, out of all my fragrances, top 10 beast mode fragrance that I have. This thing is just... The performance on it's ridiculous. It will always be in my collection. I love it. I'll wear it in the summertime. I don't care. I know it's strong for summer, but it just... I like the smell of it. It's one of my favorite fragrances I have. It's just so good. It's so good. For me, this is a banger. Banger. You know what else I call it? But if I call it that, people lose their fucking minds. Fuck it, it's bitch bait. Pied Piper a pussy. You wear this stuff, pussy will end up in your lap. I'm telling you, the freaking women love it. They just go stupid. All right, the next one. Yeah. Oh, Bink, bink, bink. Yeah, it's Ultra Mile by Jean Paul Gaultier. Uh, some people call it a clubbing fragrance. <laughs> Believe it or not, I, I don't go to the club. I don't know if you could get that about me. I'm not the club guy. I go to the metal shows. Trey, right. push people around and shit, have a good time. But, the smell of this. I smelt it at a Macy's years ago. And I was like, wow, that smells really good. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to buy it. I love it. It's so good, and it's embarrassing to say this, but when my boys, my young ones, started wearing fragrances, this is the one they would grab all the time. Personally, I think it's because at first I thought they was a little gay, and they just liked to be like, yeah, look at that. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Don't touch pee pee. Bing, bing. All right, so the bottle's fucking stupid, right? We can agree on that. Although you can see the resemblance in the body, right? Okay. This stuff's good. It's got everything in it that you'd want. It's got a little, it, it's sweet. It's got some cinnamon. It lasts crazy long time. You can actually score this now if you shop right for about 80 bucks. 
Everybody should have it. I don't. I know when people say, ah, it's a young guy's fragrance. I'm, Fuck you. It smells good. Wear this shit. Age is a mindset. I'm 45. I refuse to sit in a old man's chair and be like, ah, life is so hard. Fuck that, man. Life's a party. That's what you make of it. Next one on my list, Spice Bomb Extreme. What do you say about this? You got vanilla and spices. It's warm. It's perfect. Sorry, it's perfect. This this is just this is so good. So good. And it lasts forever. And literally I can go grocery shopping. Yes, I do my own grocery shopping. It's a single guy life, man. I'm gonna go do that shit myself. And women will go up aisles they don't need to go to to follow you scent trail. It's hilarious. Definitely. Bitch, babe, motherfucker. All right. If you're getting offended by that, I'm not going to apologize. You got Sandy Vagina. Go wash it out. All right. Second on the list, and I hate putting this up there, but it, it, people love it. And rightfully so, I love it. I'm sick of it because there's better options. But Creed Aventus, people just love it. Every time I wear it, a handful of compliments. Even if I'm just scooting around town, someone's going to say something. Like, Damn, man, whatever you're wearing smells good. It, it It's the beast that it is because it, it is what it is. They figured something out when they made this. Magic in a bottle. Lightning in a bottle. Again, it put a face on the fragrance community. That's how everybody ends up with a bottle of this. No one buys a bottle that's like, I really want to spend that much money on a bottle. Now, the lure around this thing makes it so you go, I gotta have a bottle of this. And then you get it, and if you're like me, and you have some other stuff that kind of smells like it a little bit, you're like, oh, I fucked up. Don't buy this, okay? And by the way, because I always give away a decant, and everybody goes fucking stupid for Aventus, this will be... What y'all abiding for, all right? That's right. I'm going to give you a decant of Creed. The real stuff. Yeah. Show is. You know the deal. Comment section. Do your shit. If you don't know what the deal is, it means you got to watch some of my other videos so you figure out what the deal is. So I'm not going to keep telling you. You know what to do. If you don't know what to do, then fuck it. You're never going to get it, all right? Decant City. Do what you do. All right. So, the... Number one, big daddy of them all. And I always say, this is my scent, all right? Um, the first time I wore it, I sprayed it at Macy's. This is years and years and years ago. Jesus. Back when Macy's was cool, you know? Now it's kind of a joke. They get they don't get stuff when it's brand new. It's, like it's, it's out for months before they get it. Before, they used to have their finger on shit, you know? So I remember when this came out, I was just there, and the lady was like, oh, you should try this. It smells so good. I was like, ah, okay. She sprayed it on me. I walked around for about five minutes at the mall. I, five minutes. I'd gotten more than five compliments. I was like, ugh. How much is that? $125 for the small one at the time. Shows you how much time has changed. It's a lot cheaper now. But I bought it. Why? You got compliments and ever since that day every single time i wear it it does not fail i get a compliment that is agua geo profumo that right there to me will always be the king of fragrances i know there's other ones that people like but for me on my skin with my dna this one will always be in my collection. I will always get the 2.5 size bottle because I like this size. Have I gone through multiple bottles of the 2.5? Yes. But sometimes I just don't like that big ass bottle. I like the 2.5 bottle. It just... I don't know. It's what I like. I'm paying for it. So I'm going to get what I like. Okay. So there you go. We're going to run through the list. Number one, best fragrance of all time. Aqua Gio Profumo. All right. Followed up by 
Creed Aventus, which by the way, Decant City, you know what to do. If you don't know what to do, go watch some of the older videos. Figure it the fuck out. All right. Spice Bomb Extreme. All right. Ultramol. PP Touching Bottle. And look at those buns. Oh, I've always wanted to take a little piece of toilet paper and like super glue it on there so it looks like he's got a piece of toilet paper stuck in his ass crack. Because I'm an asshole and I think that shit's funny. Yeah. Touch ping. All right. I know people ain't going to get that joke, probably. You have to watch the same fucked up movies I watch. Red Tobacco by Mancera. Sausage by Johnny Depp, otherwise known as Savage by Dior. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Piss poor performing, massive compliment getting juice. Hey Rod, Parfums de Mali. Amoise, Reflection Mon. Pure Malt by Terry Mugler, A-Man Collection. If you want complimenting killing beasts that will cover everything, <clears throat> that's all you would need. If all you're doing is you want to get compliments and you want something for every season, every occasion, every situation, those 10 fragrances will cover everything and there's nothing I showed you that won't draw compliments. I know that because I go all over this country. I drive a truck. That's what I do for a job. I am a truck driver. Hold the steering wheel. <laughs> Fuck out of the way! Alright, so... <laughs> I go all over. And I get compliments all the time for how I smell. And it's... The people are like, oh my god! You're taking a bottle of Aventus on the road with you? Hell no! Alright? These things right here you can get from Amazon. You can get a whole shit ton of them. Which, by the way... That's what I send you. It's called a decant. All right. You fill up one of these out of something like this. You take this with you when you travel. It's small. It's out of the way. I will say though, if you ever do get these, a little insider trick. A little bit of tape right along there. A little bit of clear tape, masking tape, whatever you want to call it, packaging tape, because they do leak. Cause you can get like fucking fifty of these for five bucks. They come in handy. Yeah, that's right. I don't buy the expensive stuff to give you fucks the, the it, fragrances. <laughs> share the fragrance. What the hell else do you want, right? So again, you want one of these filled up with Aventus, the real stuff. Actual Aventus. Figure out what to do. I'm not going to keep telling you. If you're new to my channel, it means you got to watch some of the older videos to figure the fuck out. Okay? My name is Sean. TDS, truck driver Sean, if you want to spit all the words out. Yeah, I'm that guy. I say bad words. Sometimes I think I'm funny. My shirts are always ridiculous. This one here is a... Stephen Rhodes. Let's summon demons. It's a childhood pastime. It's a good time. That's right. It's funny. If you don't think it's funny, fuck you. All right. Like, share, subscribe. And uh huge shout out because I got my box today from Happy Land Studios. Mr. Wells, you're awesome. Hook me up. Future oncoming video, you will see what I'm talking about. You know what? Fuck it. I'll give you a little sneaky peeky. For the bottles I got, he sent me these awesome decants, actual decants, from Happy Land Studios. What I tell you? I get stuff, you get stuff. So these right here, for the bottles I review, he sent me a decant for each of the bottles that I'll be reviewing. Decant is yours. All yours. But again, gotta keep an eye on the channel. Because when I do reviews, unless it's... uh. I can already tell you how I do reviews of some stuff from Strangers Perfumery. There'll be no decants for those because they're very small bottles. And watch the video and you find out why you can't have a decant of them. It's sad, but it's a thing. But for this one, Aventus. 
the King of Fragrances, the Game Changer, the Slayer. That's right. You want a decan of that? Figure out what the fuck to do. Catch you in the next video. Later.